What's up guys, Lasty here. Uh, today I've got a game of search and destroy on Afghan um, where I use the UMP45 silenced and the Spaz12 secondary, um, Marathon Pro, Lightweight Pro and Ninja Pro. Uh, so it's a standard class which a lot of people use. It's sort of like the Sandy Ravage class if you will. Uh, but I sped up most of the first round because I didn't really do a lot and I only got one kill. Um, but I must have ran straight past this guy who's playing dead. Uh, but Danny gets a quick scope uh, with a one bar. So yeah, we're into the second round. We're one nil up. Um, I'm quite impressed with this gameplay actually. It's probably the best score I've ever gotten in Search and Destroy. Uh, I got it quite a while back now, but uh, I just thought I wanted to upload a few of the Capture the Flag gameplays uh, over the last couple of weeks because that's what I've been playing mostly and that's what I enjoy watching so uh, I've held off on this one for a little bit but it was time to post it because I haven't posted in four or five days something like that so I get my Sandy Ravage on here with uh, a Spaz 12 kill and I think I run down here and steal steal Danny's kill but you know what first come first serve mate so there you go um, one guy left and I think yeah, yeah, we win the round. Uh, so none of our team have actually died yet, uh, which is quite cool. We were going to hopefully go for like a 4-0 uh, when none of us die, but I don't think that happens. Um, I think this next round coming up, I'm actually uh, left to be the last one alive, I think. I'm not quite sure. Something like that. Um, so I've picked up a UAV here. I'm 3 for 0. You'll notice that I didn't actually use it at the start of this round. Uh, because if you call it in right at the start of a round, then it's not actually very useful. Um, I'll use cover. Oh no, I don't use cover to my advantage there. I thought I used the stairs as cover, but I ran out like an idiot. But I got the kill anyway. Um, so, I think, yeah, I've got a counter UAV, and I don't think I've actually used my UAV this round. Because I noticed we've still got quite a lot of guys left on our team. Um, and, oh yeah, that guy gets a ninja defuse right there. Um, but I sped it up accidentally. Uh, so I take the same rushing route every time on this map. It's always the back side of the map, uh, over like the cliff side and the back of the cave. I just think there's more cover around there and that's just what I prefer. Um, and I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone around this side. Uh, and I get hit marker with a Semtex on that guy. I don't know how that happened because I thought there was two of them in there. Um, so I'm the last one alive and I pick one, two guys up there. and. I wouldn't have used my Predator Missile here, but I was actually playing deaf and talking to Danny on Skype, and he was like, dude, use your Predator Missile. So I used it. I failed, um, but I got to know where the guys were. Um, I know I'll, we're going to lose this round because there's, you know, three seconds left. But um, I managed to get the two guys that are in the cave, and which is quite unlucky because if I just had a little bit more time, I think I could have won us that round. So we're 2-2 two -two right here, uh, and I think I'm... 8 for 0. Yep. Thank you, Tom, for pulling up the scoreboard. Um, so I kind of wish that I actually used higher kill streaks in this game because, you know, right now I could have had a uh, um, Harriers or an emergency airdrop or something. Uh, so I call my UAV in here. Notice that there's no one around this side of the map, so it's quite safe to run around. Um, and right here, I just take cover for a second because and wait for the UAV to wave. Um, because I didn't know if the guy was running at me or running away. Um, pick him off. Uh, anyway, I'm talking about the gameplay a bit too much. Uh, so recently, I've gone up in a few, quite a few subscribers. Uh, I'm actually at about 170 something at the moment, which is really good considering my total. Uh, I really wanted to get 100 subscribers total, and I guess I've nearly doubled that, which is really cool. Um, so thank you and welcome to all you new guys. Uh, I'm guessing that you're from Mike's channel, uh, which uh, obviously came from Six Winters channel. So congratulations, Mike! You have officially beaten me on subscribers, and yeah, so you've over you've got over 200 now. So that's really cool. Um, but his his link is in my other channels part on my actual channel page. So go and check him out if you haven't. But I'm sure you have. Um, so right now we are winning 3-2 but uh, I'm going to spoil it right here we end up actually losing this game um, 
which kind of sucks because you know I've got a really good gameplay here, a um, really nice score, but we don't actually win the game, which you know I hate it when that happens. But what are you gonna do, huh? Um, so my UAV is telling me that there's a couple of guys over this area. So this wall right here is really good cover, and if you've got FMJ, you can shoot through it quite well. So you could like um, drop down and then take a couple of shots through the wall or that sort of thing and I can see a guy right here uh, crawling around and I get hit markers on him but to make sure I get the kill I throw the Semtex and it looks to me like I'm the last one alive but I think uh, uh, I wasn't because the uh, the B flag um, was actually covering it and I die there for the first time in the game um, and we actually lose that round so it's going into overtime which is the last round uh, we're either going to win or lose here and as I said we lose uh, but I think I pick up another couple of kills before I end up dying so same again through the cave it's just a good Russian route um, and I'm using marathon and lightweight here but I mainly use it to get to where I want to be um, rather than like constantly rushing this search and destroy is really it's a killer if you actually rush and you're just going to end up dying so you want to get to where you want to be I saw a guy plant a claymore there uh, and I was still a bit skeptical of going around the corner until I saw his uh, red mark pop up on the top of the cliff and I could tell that he was sniping up there so I went round picked him off and there's like one or two guys round here uh, I ducked down and managed to get the kill eventually but I think that was my last kill of the game and I do something quite stupid here uh, I can see that there's a guy sort of camping around the corner um, and he fires his gun again in a minute so I think okay he's looking the other way so it's safe for me to run round but you know what it wasn't uh, there was another guy there but I want you to look at this guy's class setups in the kill cam he hasn't got a third perk is that some sort of hack or something but I don't know end score is 16 and 2 um, Thank you for watching guys, I'm sorry this was a loss of a gameplay but quite a good score in the end. Anyway, thanks for watching, if you could thumbs up the video that would be great and I will catch you later.